Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetSuits.com and today we are going to review this USB current and voltage meter. This one is called Charge Doctor which you can buy uh, again from the local market and we will also give a link uh, in this video description so that you can actually go ahead and buy this one. So as far as the current rating for this one is going to be uh, the voltage which you can test, the range of voltage is going to be 3 volt to 7 volt. The current it can test is going to be this one and this is the error percentage as far as uh, things are concerned it will be able to check whether you have a good battery pack uh, whether the power bank which you are using for a smartphone is actually good or in terms of quality it will show you the current rating as well as it will show you the output voltage so for example whenever you are testing it for the voltage if it is giving you the voltage current in a range of 5.2 to 4.8 then it is good enough but if it is lower than 4.8 uh, if it is between 4.8 to 4.6 then it is definitely not that great uh, and this is the another thing so it is going to be bad if it is going to be above 5.2 in terms of voltage or less than 4.6 in terms of voltage as far as current goes from any battery pack or anything or any charger which you are testing with this one make sure that the current is 1.1 ampere or above that and it should be in between 0.9 to 1.1 ampere which is good however if it is less than 0.85 ampere then definitely that charger is not good for your smartphone and it will charge your smartphone but slowly as well as same goes for the battery pack as well so this device can be used to test the output current which should come out from the charger which you buy for your smartphone as well as the battery pack which you buy for your smartphone so it will test the current and the rating we will just show you how does it does that so we have another example over there in terms of current it should be from 1.85 to 2.2 for an ipad whereas for smartphones so smartphones it, the current should be this one for tablet the current should be in the range of 1.8 to 2.2 ampere and if it is less than 1.8 ampere for tablets then definitely it is not good so this is how it looks like as you can see you can use it with the tablet you can use it with the smartphone and the purpose of this thing is to check whether you have a good charger uh, a good cable when it comes to the micro USB cable and whether the current current which is coming out from your charger or from your battery pack is good or good enough for your smartphone to be charged and how is the overall performance so depending on that current you can actually decide whether you should go for that battery pack or not so i'm going to show you the xiaomi power bank which we have with us and i'm going to test this device with the xiaomi power bank and also i will use another power bank of some chinese manufacturer uh, which is again not going to be that great in terms of quality so we have the xiaomi uh, power bank with us as you can see and I can just open this like this because I actually inserted with the silicon cover that is why it is so much tight so anyways uh, let me just get rid of this thing so here we have the Xiaomi power bank 10400 milliampere this is the genuine one so this is the genuine one and let me just get another one which we have with us which is going to be a Chinese battery pack so here we have a Chinese one and I'm, I will test both of them uh, with this charge doctor device. So let me just first of all connect. So not only the charge but the battery pack which is important, it is also the cable which is important. We have we do have two cables over there. This one is a local Chinese cable which you can buy and this one is a standard one which is going to be thicker so the difference in between these two cables is going to be the width so if you see the cable is kind of wider you can see thicker uh, then definitely that cable is better as compared to the other micro USB cable which is thinner so let me just connect this first of all uh, with this cable and once I connect it I can just connect this part over here on the phone and now it should get start it should start charging once I press this button so it is charging right now and over here you can see the voltage 
so the voltage on this device first of all let me just show you that it is 5.01 uh, which is good and the current is 1.05 or 06 ampere which is also good and if I change the cable for instance if I connect this local Chinese cable which is again uh, a data cable as well as a charging cable so in case you buy any one of these uh, then again the output current from the battery pack is going to be different uh, and this is something which I have seen so uh, we have just connected it now so as of now it is charging and now I can show you the voltage and the current so the current which is coming out from the charger as of now or the battery pack uh, it is coming at 5.1 voltage wherever uh, the voltage is 5.10 and when it comes to the current it is 0.00 ampere so in this case the current is very less however it is charging and it is getting disconnected again and again for some reason so make sure you use a better cable uh, I would recommend you to use the cable which come within the package of the phones in case you uh, you are not able to get that then you can always buy the Samsung micro USB cable the genuine ones they always are better in terms of the current you can always buy some genuine battery packs as well which will give you a better cable for example the one which I have with Xiaomi Mi 3 is actually very good so if I use this cable uh, not with the Xiaomi Mi 3 but uh, the or you can say the one which come with Xiaomi Mi 3 or with the Xiaomi power bank over there if I use this one uh, this is going to be better and now you can see the change so this is 5.02 and the current is 1.26 1.34 ampere which is definitely good so if the current is above 1 ampere then it is always good and in case I use the third party Chinese battery pack like this one over here and try to charge my Mi 3 ok let me just connect it ok now it is connected and I don't know how to power this thing on anyways I think it will get on automatically so over here we have the cable and I think the battery pack is not charged properly but again uh, I would say the current which you will get from the battery pack up uh, like this is not going to be more than 1 ampere it is going to be less than 1 ampere which is going to be a problem in that case the device will charge very slow and you will see the problem so anyways uh, this is all we have as far as different battery backups and the charge doctor review that's all from us. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.